buddy. Hold on. Big tree behind me. It's around four or five feet off the water. I'm gonna cut some limbs off it so we can go underneath it, and hopefully that works out. Good boy. You made it to the tree tunnel set. That a boy. Oh, that was nuts. Come on. So we just made a decent little ferry uh, across from over there. I was looking for a campsite for the past half an hour. It's just a steep embankment and it keeps going. And I seen over here, they look like flat, thinned out ground. So I'm gonna pop up now. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh. It's gonna be our first campsite, not on a beach. Some moose poop there. Put the fire pit on top of that. Oh boy. Saku, look at that. Anyways, I'm gonna cook that trout, sit back, and we plugged in a bigger shift than I was going to today. Uh, six days in a row now. Tomorrow might be a break for the boys. It's the most open ground I've seen since we've left. Zach, come on. You can't go running off in here. Something will eat you. Six days in a row on the move, we've covered 113 kilometers. Tonight, we enjoy fresh trout for supper, and tomorrow we'll take a break. We had a hard day today. He wasn't in the canoe at all. He walked the whole distance. So I'm going to get these off there now. Get them into some nice dry uh, neck camp shoes I have. These socks are going to have to be dry by the fire. They're absolutely soaking. Fish is almost cooked. Couple chunks of fish for the kettle, and uh, the rest I'll do on the fry pan there. I got some eggs, some fish roe. Fry that up. That'll be all good. Trip. Oh, so we hit the spot. It's 
week well tonight, Zach. Zach, you already had his, didn't you, but Yeah, you had your first, didn't you? Zach, you won't put that front right paw on the ground. He just did for the first time. Yeah, he looked extra sore coming into camp yesterday. I don't know what happened. This is some Medicam uh, pain medicine. 20 milligram sac. Hold on, hold on. Trip to the doctor's over, sac. You did well, buddy. How did you feel about that one? So we're just a little ways in here this morning and uh, Saku's still laboring a little bit. I got him in the canoe here, just dragging him along shore. He doesn't mind it too much, but I think he wants to be out. Look who's back on the move. He's tough as nails. Good boy. He sat in the canoe for all of five minutes, ten minutes. And then he was out on the move. We're making good time today. About two kilometers an hour. The canoe just took on a rapid at a tough angle and uh, we swallowed a bit of water. So I gotta scoop it out now. All done. Back to work. Just doing my best here now. Uh, it's getting late in the day. Just trying to sneak off the side of these rapids and the red wine. Uh, it's the first good set we've come across. Uh, they're raging out in the middle. And uh, Really close to shore here, just kind of sneaking along the side. We don't want to get sucked out into that one. Hell yeah, that'll suck us down river in a hurry and everything we got with us. Almost to camp for this evening, gotta be careful. So we made it up through those buggers right there and uh, it's just past uh, 6 p.m. We pulled in and found our own little beach. Right here, uh, I'm gonna put my camp up on the hill. Sack is over here lying down. Have a little rest as he needs it. I could have plugged out another hour, but he's feeling it. He's, he's sore. And uh, he doesn't like being in the canoe, so it's about taking it easy on him, too. And uh, we had a sufficient day. Amazing to think that we just came up through that. So cool. But, uh, oh man, a couple times it was just like me versus the current tug of war that's what it's become somebody worked hard today
Today I'm gonna try out the dry suit again on my lower half. Uh, I've used it a couple times in the trip so far. Uh, you get kind of sweaty, especially on a day like today, which is supposed to reach 25 degrees uh, at least. But I was finding yesterday, every time I took a break, I was, I was cold. I was, it took, didn't take very long at all until I was almost shivering. So today, I'm gonna throw the dry suit on. My lower half will be kept dry and warm. And when I stop, I'm not soaking wet. So here behind me uh, is where another decent sized river feeds into the red wine. And we gotta get across to the other side. So uh, a little test here to start today. What do you think, Saku? All right, let's do this. Rocks are slippery. Stay still, Zach. Come on, buddy, hold on. Try not to take any water on here. I'm up over my waist now. Uh, almost chest high there for a minute. Come on, Zach, we're halfway there, bud. All right. We're going to break here. It looks like a little fishing hole. Good job, buddy. Good job. It's a job well done by him. He stood still. He was patient. Doesn't cast, so no luck. We're gonna see them later on in the trip. This day just keeps getting more and more interesting, hey? Uh, this is it now. We're here by this big rock, huge rock. I just went around one cliff, but now I can't really walk around that one. I'm gonna have to go up top here, take the rope with me, pull the canoe. Okay, Sack, you gotta come with me. Now we're getting into it. One bad slip on this sheet of rock means a definite swim into a deep surging river. The other option is a long difficult portage, but as you can see, I'll do almost anything to avoid.
because no, we can just go around over here and come down perfect. That's what I was hoping he'd do. I can't leave the canoe, it's gonna get washed downstream. He came, thank God. As soon as I got around the edge, he couldn't see me no more. He jumped, uh, I knew he would. That's it. I couldn't come up to him, I couldn't do nothing. The canoe was literally getting hauled downstream by the current. And that's sometimes just gonna happen. But he can do it, he's just a little nervous, that's all. He's got it in him. Uh, sometimes you just gotta build up the courage to do it. Whew, that was a close one. We're just here in this little steady, and we're going around a corner to get into the next set of rapids just ahead of us. All of a sudden, I seen a little black bear come around the corner. Saku was going head on for him. Saku was probably 20, 30 feet ahead of me. He was going head on. I don't think Saku seen him. So I called him back, grabbed him, threw him in the canoe, and we jumped here in the steady, and the current just started taking us backwards. That was nuts. Anyways, Definitely gonna have to keep my head on a swivel here now. I'm gonna delay a few minutes before I go around that bend. God knows what's what's there. Hopefully not a mother sow beer, but uh, yeah, gotta be patient here now, just in case. They could be up in the alders or anywhere. Making some noise now. Just trying to keep them up in the woods ahead of our grill. Good boy, Sack. Stay there, Sack. Good boy. Good boy. He's dying to get out, too. He knows, see. He's seen us when we got in the canoe. Whew. Man, oh man. God help me today. Sack runs in the bush for a minute or two. Comes out with a muskrat in his mouth, I think. I think it's a muskrat. He got bitten. Sack you, you're a savage bud. Holy. Now look what we gotta go up. And then up here, up, way up there, it looks like it's, well, it doesn't look like it's burned country. There was a fire. The whole right hand side of shore is just burned, charred trees. So that could work out in our favor if there's any portages. Let's see. Episode number two of Across Labrador is sponsored by Loa. A link to the boots I wore is in the pinned comment below. So we're going to take the option on trying to line the canoe up through that. Not this late in the day. This is when mistakes are made. Uh, I'm loading up. I'm going to portage. I made a walk over there and scouted it out. I don't know if you can see, Saku's over there sat on the rock. He doesn't want to do any more walking than he has to. That's okay, because he stays there. He knows I'm talking about him now. Anyway, I had to climb up this little cliff right here. case while I'm loaded up I don't want this thing going down for a ride down the river
Yeah, that day's in the books. A uh, few portages, lots of climbing rapids. So we're here now. We're in burn country. It's been like this for the last probably three kilometers. God knows how much further it goes. It's on both sides of the river, so pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's a weird type of feeling being in here. It's like the world's over or something, I don't know. But uh, lots of firewood. So, get the bite teeth, geared up, and bed will come shortly after. So, we'll catch you in the morning. Morning of day 10 here. What we got coming up now, continuing on, is rapids after rapid after rapid, and that's what it was like yesterday. Uh, I think I'm not going to be able to move as quick as I first expected. There might be some delays getting to uh, to Red Wine Lake, which is our first big objective, and then even further on the Smallwood. We're going to get there, but it's going to take a little longer than I expected, unless conditions get better, which that doesn't look like it's going to happen. So. That's it. We'll get there when we get there. All right, so we're all loaded up, ready to go here. Uh, it's a new day in the big land, Labrador. This is what the canoe looks like when she's all set up. I got gun and rod in the back. I got the food barrel, which is the heaviest item by far towards the end. That's good for going up river. Map on top in a waterproof case. Got one paddle tucked in there. Another one here, all these things are tied in by the way. Uh, solar panel going on. Getting some solar charge throughout the day. Good boy, hey Zach, you're a good boy. So we're just making our way up through this uh, boulder garden here. The river's absolutely littered with them. And uh, we're taking our time. Zach, you spent a bit of the morning in the canoe, but he still wants to be out. I just think it takes a little while for his engine to get warmed up and uh, get the soreness out. But he looks to be okay. So I'm just here on a lengthy portage now. Uh, nearly half a kilometer long. Thankfully, still through this burn country. There's a huge... Gorge, waterfall. Oh, I just ate a spider web, and there's no way we're getting up that line in the canoe. Now I'm on my way back, making my third trip to get to the canoe. I saved it for last this time. I just need to take a break here now. Hot day, I'd say. Oh, pushing 30 for sure, for sure. Oh man, it's cool. It's cool to see these. <laughs> this is landscape up here in Labrador, and uh, I don't think many people have had the privilege to see this spot. So I take that uh, very seriously out here. Love it. Anyways, let's get that canoe. So for the first half of the portage, I carried it over rocks. Now there's some soft stuff. Uh, lots of Labrador tea, a couple logs, and some bush. Uh, I'm going to drag it. Hey, good boy. So, we finally found a campsite. We had to stop the day there. There's another gorge. We got a portage around. I would say the portage is two or three hundred yards long. Uh, I just brought my stuff in a little ways, uh, 100 meters just up over the, the river bank down there. And, whew.
brought the canoe up uh, through the rapid there. I originally thought I was going to have the portage around it up through the bush where our campsite is, but I took everything out, even the paddles, and of course the canoe was super light then, and I took my time and hopped up the rocks. Starting off today, it's going to be a bit challenging, I think. Uh, once we get our portage done that we had to finish, we get into a small stretch of river that doesn't seem to be too challenging. But then the shorelines get very steep and rocky again. So that's going to pose some, uh, some risks. So we got to chip along this gorge. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Let's go. Time to get out. Over here. Stay up here, Saku. Another boy, Sack. Half the rocks, bud. Half the rocks. Just passed another slippery section. Uh, I think we may be free for from those for a little while, which is good. Now it's just up the rapids again. Here we go. up this section of rapids and I can see a little bit of flat water up there it'll be short-lived but it's better than nothing this is amazing it's been how many days since Grand Lake 10 days and since then there's not been one sign of civilization here and now the interior of Labrador not a cut stick not a campfire, not a wrapper. <laughs> it's kind of weird after a while. And you're just going and you don't see anything. What a cool feeling. Send shivers down my spine. It's somewhat late in the day, just after five o'clock. But before I finish it off, I'm gonna line the canoe, the empty canoe, 
up alongside right before the rapids get really bad and from there I'm going to lift it up and carry it to the point where we're going to start tomorrow and that way it'll be less work tomorrow morning. That's all done. We can set up camp and enjoy the scenery for the evening. Looks like it could be a good spot to hook a fish too. Oh my god! This is the worst I've seen the flies yet. Uh, Taking at you. I'm down by the river. <laughs> Try to change out of my dry suit into my normal clothes, my civilian clothes. So we had a long day up river day. It's always tiring. I'm gonna go up and sprawl out in the tent with Sacky for a bit once I get all this stuff out. Here comes the fresh meat. I just had a pot of goulash for supper. Some homemade goulash I had made myself, dehydrating meals. But for dessert, I got some bannock made up. So bannock is just, uh, it's a bread, a traditional trapper's bread they call it here, in around Labrador in northern Canada. Now we are halfway to Smallwood Reservoir, where our resupply awaits. 150 unpredictable kilometers remain, but on evenings like this, the distance melts away. After putting in our time, nature reveals her riches to us. So it's been a good morning for us so far. Uh, we've chipped away at a few rapids and in between there's been some welcome steadies. Some nice flat calm areas like behind us. We've got to paddle in a couple of those and uh, we're doing all right. Uh, as you can tell looking behind me and of course on the other side of the river there, the burn country is now long gone. We've, we've passed through that. We just kind of ended. It was like a wall and uh, it went from burnt trees uh, to, to a lovely forest again. Let's go, Sack. Come on. In here. In the canoe. Good boy. Here, paddling now on the upper reaches of the Red Wine River. And there seems to be a few more steadies higher up as the river gets higher in the land. And also gets a little more narrow, a smaller river now, much smaller than when we started. And of course that makes sense. It's nice to see the changes uh, over the last seven or eight days since we left the Biscotti. So we're just starting a portage late in the day here. Uh, and it's around a bit of a gorge, not too bad, but bad enough that we can't line up it. Up there. Set go! 
Leave them alone. Leave them alone. Sackler just found something crazy. What is it? Oh my god, it's a mink. No, Saku! Is it? What is it? I don't even want to go in there. Thank you! Oh. Swallowed a fly. It's a little baby bird, little duck. Wow. Saku, Saku, no. Saku, Saku wants to get it. We're gonna go on now. Poor thing's stretched out, but it is a little, little chick is in there. Little baby duck, it looks like. There's feathers even floating around here. came to another portage this one's a long one uh, it'll be the last one for the day if we even get through the whole thing all the gear is brought up besides the canoe the bush on the side of the river is thick I'm gonna have to probably snip a bit of a trail lift the canoe through drag it through anyways I gotta get going because these flies are terrible Another one bites the dust. Up the river we go. much packed up the canoe is brought over to the other side of the rapid I don't know if you can see it there up there that's what we dodged all this especially this big nasty mess beautiful though and I just got to get the rest of the stuff in the bag and uh, two trips and we'll be up, making our way further on through the red wine. Come on, Zach. Zach is leading the way here. He's the navigator. There's a lot of slippery rocks on this one. Gotta be careful. What it is, it's rocks with moss on them. And underneath the moss, it's dent. So, what happens is you step on the rock and the moss slips from out under your feet. That's not the only thing either. In between some of the rocks, the moss grows. But under that moss, there's no rock. It's just an empty pit. So if you step on that moss and there's nothing to support, you're going to put your ankle right down on the hole. And uh, that could be bad. So this is what I mean here with the wet moss. I came over, that was white. It slipped from out under my feet on my first trip. So, oh, take my time. 
and watch. Watch this. Oh, I almost fell in. See this? Easy to slip on that stuff. So you really, really got to bear down with each stick. And there's the canoe. Thank God that portage behind us is behind us. And uh, now we're just making our way along. Good boy. Break time now. Everything's like a bit of a yard sale here now. Uh, Saku's over there hanging out. But it's tough to see. But in behind here, you can see a ridge of the Red Wine Mountains straight up through there. Pretty cool. And uh, yeah, tent's gonna go right here this evening, right here. Beautiful caribou mass site. Saku going too far ahead. Atta boy, Saku. Good work, kid. So the river just got a little uh, tangly there now. It branches off in a number of different places. Uh, on the map, it almost looks like a spider's web. So it's going to take a little bit of navigating here. And I think we're also coming up on our first uh, significant waterfall of the river. It's going to be interesting to see. All right, we're going to take a break and tackle this portage. There we go, now we're talking. Nice black tea on the way, black and strong is the only way. All right, portage in this big slope now. Now I'm just gonna do it sideways at an angle so front or back doesn't hit. That's what's happening now. Come on, Zach. I can't see him now. Good boy. Come on, Zach.
so uh, this portage is a beast. Right behind me, I should step in a little bit, is a uh, huge gorge. And this has been going on, I would say we're close on a kilometer in now, if not a full kilometer. And uh, it just keeps going, and I'm not sure when it ends. So uh, it's getting close on six. I'm gonna go ahead and go on up the side of the river and try to find a trail that we're gonna continue on because it gets a little more tangly than, we, than what we just went through. We were on some nice rocky caribou moss open area. Now it gets steeper and uh, I don't know, it could be good, it could be bad. So I'm gonna go ahead with the ax, gun, have a look and uh, if all goes well, maybe I'll get the canoe up this evening and uh, we'll finish the rest tomorrow. So that's it, let's go. So I got a portage trail, limbed out as good as possible. It still goes, geez, another third of a kilometer for sure. And uh, and even then, I don't know if it's over. It seems pretty flat, but uh, there is a couple of ledges. Anyways, these are some markers I have. Rain's coming now, I gotta get back. I had a little ways to go too. Another one in this tree. So they help me find a trail tomorrow uh, and even now coming back because I would have been hard pressed to remember exactly the route I went. Bush is somewhat uh, gnarly. So I'm gonna make this quick because the nippers are bad. Uh, Portage, the big dog, is nearly done. The last and most trickiest part is probably going down this hill, very steep hill. It's gonna bring us down to a better part of the river. Uh, so really gonna have to take my time. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw my bag on my back. Everything else here in the canoe. I'm gonna slowly, with one hand on the rope, let that slide down in front of me. Like this. Down there. Three, two seconds. The boys are back on the river. Uh, we're going on five o'clock, one, four, seven, eight hours that took us to do. Oh my. Can't break down. Get a couple hours in before Derek. Quick swig of water, we're back on the move. We're going nowhere but up as the forbidding heights of land approach us. There, bigger water and surprises await us. But we're not done with this river just yet. Damn it. Beautiful morning out there it seems like. Nice little speckle. Thanks again to Lowell Canada for the support. See the pinned comment below to take part in the episode number two subscriber appreciation contest. Good luck. I appreciate you tuning in. We'll see you in the next one.